Hello once again. It's lovely to see you for day six of Psych Month. We're rocketing through, and guys, I'm back in the old hoodie. This feels like a mistake. I'm not going to lie, because I, it's warm. <laughs> it is warm weather. A uh, bit, bit of a last-minute rush today. I, I gave myself like a 30-minute lead-in to get ready for today's stream. I'm like, oh, brilliant! I'm going to get well ahead and got everything ready. And then I just kept forgetting bits and bobs here and there. So I've been jumping over the furniture and climbing up and down stairs. So I've got a fair old dab on, but fortunately we are going to stay hydrated, so that's okay. Uh, lovely to see you all here. Got a, got a reasonable number uh, early on already. Hopefully we can have a good little chat as we play through the games today. Today we are going to be playing Sonic 2 on the Mega Drive. And we're also going to be playing through the... Uh, mission mode on Sonic Origins. We're going to cover the Sonic 1 missions today. I'm going to stretch that out a little bit and get a, get a, get a few evenings worth of content out of it. Because <laughs> it's difficult to come up with ideas sometimes. So, uh, how are you guys all been? All good, I hope? I think we can just about jump into the game. Um, oh, before we do, actually, I just want to show off this uh, little bit of... Uh, We've changed the decor. As you can see, we no longer have the uh, huge picture of Sonic and his friends and enemies behind me. For now, we have... Ugh, crikey, mate. Well, I figured, right, this is the first game to have Super Sonic in it. So here's a picture of Super Sonic drawn by Ferran Rodriguez, who was um, the artist for my very first issue of Sonic the Comic. Um, and Farron is like the loveliest guy in the world. Uh, this was actually a gift. Um, Farron doesn't usually do gifts, it must be said, because he's a, a very in-demand artist. He does a lot of work with Disney, DC, lots of big companies. So for him to, for him to give a gift like this really meant a lot. Wonderful human being, love him to pieces. Hopefully he'll be able to come to another Sonic convention in Britain soon. Hopefully we'll get another Sonic convention in Britain soon, that'll be nice. So anyway, yes, it's the first game with Super Sonic that we'll be playing today. So I thought we'll have Super Sonic watching over us. Here we are, pop him back in the corner there. Marvellous stuff. Right then, all that out of the way, let's jump into the game. You'll notice I've changed the screen around because it was, it occurred to me it was a little bit weird having me on the right hand side because it looked like I was looking off into nothingness whereas now it looks a little bit more natural like I'm looking at the game I mean of course I'm looking at the game it's in front of me but you know what I mean so let's have a little looky here Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is what we're after if I can find it really should have put these in a separate folder Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Cool. No? Not working? Just being difficult? Alright, we'll reboot the old uh, thingamajoodle. There we go, that's better. Just a moment and we'll be in there. There we go. Marvellous. Fabulous. <laughs> Alrighty. It's Sonic 2. You'll notice it's pretty much the same Sonic sprite as the first game. It's a little bit bluer though. We have a new move at our arsenal. Press down, and one of the uh, three attack buttons. The spin dash, which lets us wind up move. Oh, and also, there's some other guy stood next to me. Give me this! Oh, it's that fellow that we didn't save yesterday. It's Tails, of course, making his Mega Drive debut. Very significant game of the franchise. I would be forced to say that Sonic 2 was probably the most important game in the series because it kind of cemented that yes, this was going to be a franchise. Nice work, guys. 
Um, a lot of the gameplay mechanics were really sort of timed up. And it's really around this time that we get a real influx of Sonic merchandise and the like. You know, he, he starts to become a famous character, like a, a brand, really. Hey, hello, welcome aboard! You've not missed much, don't worry, we've only, uh, only just started Emerald Hill. Fifty rings, and into the special stage we go. Now, I feel reasonably confident I can get this first one. I'm probably going to struggle with most of these, if any. You'll recall when I played Sonic Origins the other week, I did have to use a lot of coins to get the Chaos Emeralds. That's not going to be an option here, of course. Uh, if I can get into the special stages, I will try and get all the emeralds I can, but once again, we are playing casually, so I'm not going to beat myself too much if I don't get the good ending. That's okay. It's really weird, because having played Having played Origins the other day with the smooth scrolling in this, this actually now looks weird to me. Which is like, how, how, how dare you make me feel that way about Sonic 2? Hey Stu, welcome to the chat. Is it the worst classic Sonic game? Which one of the Mega Drive, maybe? You know, we... we we have a lot of ground to cover in the classic era. Love a Japanese game, name their side character Miles Prower and use the pun for implying Miles Prower when they use metric. That's... I never thought of that actually, that's a good point. Alright, all the rings in the level have been reset, but also our ring counter has returned to zero. Which is another way in which Origins differs from this version. If you're playing as Knuckles, using the uh, the lock on, you can keep your rings and you can have a special stage. Not so in uh, the original version. Right? Oh no! CD is, a, CD is a very good game. I'm actually quite looking forward to playing CD again tomorrow. Even though I only just played it. Because <laughs> it's a good old game. Can I get up here? Is there a platform I'm missing? Oh, there we go, that's it. Oh no! Oh, there's a coconut up there. He's absolutely gonna hit me and I'm gonna lose all my rings before I get a chance to hit that star post. Like that! What a little sod. You might have to show me where you changed the soundtracks to, because I didn't spot that one either. I've actually changed the game boxes in Origins. Oh, I know. I, I sorry, just to go back to something you said. I love the, uh, I love the, the dithering on the bushes and stuff like that. It's just, it looks kind of odd here because we're playing this on a. Oh, obviously, I have not hooked a Mega Drive up to HDMI. Clearly, I haven't. We know this. So it looks strange here, but on a CRT TV, 
it looks really good. It's like the waterfalls in Sonic 1. Damn it, Goku, that's one of your problem. Because they're specifically designed with CRT tellies in mind. Oh, okay, I'll bear that in mind. Thank you, Stu. I still find it a little strange that like the box art isn't set based on what region you're in. I you like surely that's the tiniest little bit of effort. Something. Oh, wait, it is. Can I get back up there? Uh, probably not. Well. Oh, wow, that was all completely for nothing anyway. Fantastic. Here we go. Lovely, easy boss to start with. I love this dude, it's great. Alright. Once again, let's show off the old secret attack when you give him 7 hits instead of 8. Because nobody ever sees it. <laughs> there we go, Emerald Kill Zone. Down. I just noticed Sonic looking at his watch there. <laughs> so I to be happy with me. Sorry, am I, am, I, am I boring you something? Am I taking up your mouth? By the way, I forgot to ask how, like, how are the audio levels, because I did twiddle with them slightly. Am I sounding good? Is the music good but not drowning me out? Let's call it water. So in a way it's kind of a water zone, but at the same time it's also a speedy zone, and you don't really put those two together in your mind, and then they obviously perfected that with Hydro City. Which is... Which is, uh, you know, a good water zone in Sonic, imagine that. Let me test something. So just testing the sound levels here, guys. Tweak that ever so slightly. There we go. Learning on the job. One of my favourite little secrets in Chemical Plant Zone is only accessible to Knuckles. They added in an extra life on top of a really tall climbable wall. Well, I don't know what you call it, a wall, a pillar. Um, and then you can just glide from there to the end of the level. It's great. Another quickie little sound check, guys, sorry. There we go, that's much better. Marvellous! See, if I was a professional streamer, I'd check all this stuff before we start off with. But I'm not, and I'm a dummy. Oh! Oh! Cool! Great! 
okay! That was the blast processing in full action there. At least I wasn't stuck. At least I managed to drop out. That was funny. I've never had that happen to me before. Now, as I recall, it was the third special stage that gave me grief the other week. So with a little bit of luck, I might be able to do this one. We shall see. Bombs. Tails is really pushing his look there. There we go. Not right now. Still enough. Tails, mate. Wanna, wanna go ahead and not do that there, pal? <laughs> Two emeralds. One of the many reasons Tails should simply be killed. <laughs> He's a little exuberant, that's all. Okay! Okay. Completely missed time with that. Uh, oh, hello, I like that though. Are you gonna do the skip in Act 2? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's going to depend on if I can remember how you do it, honestly. I know I have done it previously, but can I remember how? Oh, and apparently I can't. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That went badly, didn't that? Yeah, we're fine. We're all good. We're not all good. That's going to be the difference between life and death there, folks. Bugger, 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 oh my god, why? I haven't failed at that in years. Shameful. I don't remember how you do it, Stu. Have you considered even briefly being good at Sonic? Not once. Not even once, man. What's the point of that? Oh my god. That was toilet. How am I blowing this so badly? Nightmare with that sequence when you're a kid and you've got rubbish reflexes. Nice and slowly, nice and steadily. I mistimed the hell out of that. I don't remember how you do it, Stu.
Uh, I don't have uh, the Discord set up properly. Sorry. Oh, bugger my asshole! <laughs> oh, damn it! Being punished. Past transgressions here. When I was younger, my sister would want to play this game, but she was no good at the boss fights, so she'd have me do them. By the third level, she'd give up playing and I ended up taking over. It's why she hates video games. Aww. Aww, that's so sad. Okay. What was that bouncing off before? Not falling for that. Small suggestion, stop falling in the Mega Man. Small suggestion to me, stop being shit at games. That spring that doesn't bounce throws me every time, and I nearly jump straight in there. We're in our 30s, she's accepted who she is. Okie dokie. Nearly fell in, didn't though, because I knew that was coming. One, two, three, four. Tails, you mother f wonderful fox. He did all the work, man. Good lad. Whew. Yeah, I, uh, I had Nana on the the call the other day too, and I played it back, and she was echoing like crazy. Try and hopefully fix that. Yeah. You understand what they were saying, like, but. Oh god, well. Tails helping, I know, a rare first. Wasn't looking bad. Friggin' out. That actually saved me from falling onto a low path though, so. Oh, that didn't help though. Phaser cake. Go on the raft in Act 2. You making that up? What are you going on there? What <laughs> That's not real. Where's the raft? Like, joking apart, because I know you wouldn't randomly make that up for no reason. Oh, cheers, Tails! Real pal! Oh, sorry, too bad. <laughs> My bad, I should say. Ah, gosh almighty. I really should have gone for that bubble. Oh no, there's one here, that's okay. Yeah. Please die and restart the level. At the right time, I'm probably going to die anyway. I'm not, uh, how you say, plays a level well. <laughs> I knew that was there and I still guided myself into him. Oh, I'm not clever. No refs playthrough. Yeah, it's a uh, ref skip. Oh, okay, cool. They don't. They just don't appear when you're still on them. Okay, I, that's fun.
pro gamer strats. Jump on the spring, the log just goes flying off screen. It's time for that casino nicht. Badoo. Two swinging platforms, if you stand on the second one, it breaks off and floats across the water. Oh, that's pretty neat. I like that. Fun little visual things in Sonic. I love when they put in things like that, just little one off gimmicky things that you're never gonna see again throughout the entire course of the rest of the game. The music in this game is absolutely ridiculously good, by the way. Oh yeah, the back, that's a really good point. We were talking about the parallax scrolling the other night. It works so well in this song. We've got stars, we've got the foreground, the background, like a mid-ground. Beautiful. Genuinely incredible pixel work. And, tragically, your eye is drawn away from basically all of it. Who'd be a background artist on the Mega Drive, eh? But God bless him anyway. Oh God, oh no. Uh, yeah, the Pinball Table DLC has the music in Generations, but only on the PC version. If you didn't get the Special Edition on console, you cannot hear it. I don't recall, I think they added it way later on the 360 into the, like the, the store. But yeah, at the time, if you didn't have like the Super Duper Mega Special Edition, you did not get Casino Night Zone music. It's just up there by default on Steam, though. I really need a haircut. Just thought I'd share that with you. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, these are cool. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Turned around just as I went to attack him. I haven't played Generations on the 3DS. I would like to. Don't ask me why I never got around to it. I'm sure I'll get it eventually, but Sonic 3DS games, much like Nintendo 3DS games, they just don't go down in price, do they? I'm going to CEX with 20 quid and you can get five good games, or one Nintendo or Sonic game. <laughs> oh god! How did that not kill me? 20's being generous, I don't think I've ever played, uh, paid £20 for a Nintendo game in CEX. Oh, it's 12! Alright, well, may have to give that a look next time I'm uh, in a store. Went to the CEX in Workshop recently and they had like so many old Doctor Who DVDs I nearly went a little bit mad. But I didn't, I was good, I behaved. You'd be proud of me.
I do like how thought is given to actually laying out these bits of the level like a pinball table. So in the wall again. Oh my god. And of course, as we know, this is one of the zones that later inspired Spinball. I'm going to try to get all the emeralds. I'll try and get any that I I can, like if I get, uh, you know, if I come to a star post and I've got 50 rings, I'll give it a go. If I don't get them all, then please don't hate me too much. This was the one that was kicking my backside the other night. See if I can do any better on the original. Good start, Tails. Tails, mate. I'll be honest, that is largely why I was struggling so much with this one, because Tails kept getting blown up. I really would have thought... If they, oh my god! If they were going to go to the trouble of touching up the graphics and making this run smoothly and all that, they'd have just improved Tails' AI so he doesn't lose all your rings in the special stages, but no. I think that would be a quality of life improvement that most people would be okay with in like a anniversary mode, you know? Something was coming, I couldn't remember what or where. <laughs> Friggin' Nora. <laughs> See, that's. it just doesn't help at all, you know? And now. I'm gonna get it. And simply remove Tails. Aww. Oh, I don't want to remove Tails, he's a good lad. He's trying his best. Alright, time for... the silliest looking boss in the game. I do love how they decked Robotic out with all these ridiculous neon lights for this boss. It's so silly. Oh my goodness me! Mamma mia! Nice! That went pretty well! Like you read another UFO. Boing! That's how you do it! Making good time through the game, I think. You may all disagree. And that is your prerogative. <laughs> but we're not here to speed run now, are we? Stu, it's your favourite level of the game, Blue Emerald Hill Zone. See you later, Stu. Thanks for dropping by, buddy. I thought I was going to land all those spikes then. Glad I didn't. Oh no. Oh, take that. Oh! Tails, you flipping willy head. Hilltop has a good background, that's it. And yeah, I do like the background, actually. The mist and the fog. If I remember right... Oh! Goodness gracious. If I remember right, Hilltop Zone during development was meant to be like a prehistoric Emerald Hill Zone. There was going to be time travel in this game, and then obviously the time travel got shunted into Sonic CD. Ugh. Not 
plain sewing, this level. Another pretty cool little tune. Go away, you silly, pointy, spiky thing. Oh, that was incredibly bad. Play like an idiot. I finally saw what happened there. Sorry, singing along again. It's good catchy music though, you know? So it's the easiest hard part in it, because I've never not done it without an invincibility box. Yeah. And it feels, if I remember right, it feels like it's really obviously placed as well. Oh, that wasn't good either. The love is rising very slowly, though, it must be said. Frig! Oh no, that was bad. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was genuinely terrible. I'm actually sorry for that very poor performance I just put in. Let's give that one another go, shall we? Great, nice work, Tails. Off to the races once more. Really weird. The the thing about having the England and British tag, it's given me English and England tonight. I only selected one of those, I can't remember which. Though admittedly one is obviously a language tag, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yum yeah, mom! Didn't have any rings, did I? Yeah. 
that scroll, please? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that went worse in every conceivable way. God. Ugh. We got better. Hmm. Itchy nose tonight. Don't even have hay fever, just got an itchy nose. Mystic Cave. So, I did see if I could find um, another piece of art I've got from Sonic the Comic with uh, Captain Plunder, his very, very, very first appearance, um, which is in the Mystic Cave Zone. Captain Plunder is one of the most popular, like, original characters to Sonic the Comic. So when that page came up on eBay, I was like, yep, have it now. <laughs> I got that and another one from the same story with... Um, Son uh, Sonic attempting to uh, attack... Plunder's first mate, but he's a ghost, so he just spin attacks right through it. It's <laughs> a very funny guy, though. Like, the dialogue's just super. I think you know some real thought to the, uh, the video I've been wanting to do about SDC. Now, th these are the things I do when I'm driving as part of my job, I just, like, think of videos to make. <laughs> I came up with a really cool idea for something to publish earlier. On that note, I'd better write that down or I will forget. Because I'm stupid. There we go. Yeah, I gotta say, like I, you know, not to turn this into a a vlog or anything, but you know, I got a new job recently, and it's really nice, you know. It's good not having anything but approaching the stress that I had with my last job. It's this really lovely family-run business, and I get to do the job that I liked at my old job, minus pretty much everything that was stressful about that. Just hanging on, nothing there, Sonic. Just, just hanging in mid there. Cool, cool, cool. I think that was the pit, wasn't it? We don't want to fall down that. There is no hidden palace zone in this version of the game. Oh, damn it. I remember back in the in, back in the day, on the old STC forums, we had a good old laugh about the fact that the flash of bad makes cheeky name. Because in Britain, a flasher would be what we would call the sort of gentleman that might wear a, uh, a long coat and nothing underneath it, and then he would uh, flash to you. Of course, these days we would call that person a sex offender. And that's another tale for another time. Alright, where are you coming from, buddy? Buddy. Robotnik. Ah, oh, Robotnik mail, buddy mail, pal. Owned. Is it high lotion next? Yes, it is. Bam, bam, bam. I actually really like the music to Will Ocean. Not, not my 
massively keen on the level, if I'm honest with you, but I like the music. Oh, no. I feel like that should have definitely killed me, so... Small mercies, I guess. Very unusual colour scheme to the, the platforms in this level. One of these days I'm going to learn not to jump the gun on the, those platforms there. Alright, attempt number three. The sheer catchiness of this tune is the only thing keeping me sane in this moment. I don't... I don't know why for a minute I thought Tails got desync there. It is... In case you, you guys don't know... Ooh, wasn't paying attention then, am I? In case you guys don't know, it is possible to desync Tails and have him... get stuck in front of you, at which point... this is basically impossible. He's not doing a great deal for the realms of possibility for me anyway. Oh, three rings, Miles. Oh, see, he's in front of me now. You see what I mean? I don't think that was in Origins. I think they did fix that. She oh. knows, hell yeah. Weird. Like my my mum gets hay fever, but I don't. And I, you know, I, I know you're saying it's not like a, a blood disorder, hay fever, but like you'd think something like that. Like maybe your your DNA would be like, yeah, it doesn't matter. We can pass that on. That's not going to hurt anyone. It's just going <laughs> to make his eyes a little runny. Oh. when you were out and about. She's got the old runny eyes and the... Ow, buggeration. And the, the runny nose, but me, I'm alright. But today, you got a real old itchy nose. Must be dusty. Well, that was my interesting nose story for you, anyway. That. Oh, f Ooh. all my own fault. Could have seen that coming. Didn't. Didn't react. Didn't think. It was all there on screen. See, the problem is I'm completely tear assing about like an idiot. My friend Shay McDonald put up a really good video the other day, and it's like a beginner's guide to classic Sonic, and it takes you through all the games that you'd get in Sonic Origins. You've got one, two, CD, three and knuckles, and it's pretty much saying you know how to get the best out of playing these games. And one of the points he made is that actually, if if you 
if you believe the hype, if you believe the marketing, you could be forgiven for thinking that this is a series where you just have to go really fast all the time, and you kind of don't. And you end up getting punished for that sometimes. So sometimes you do have to take a lighter approach, a softer touch. Take a light to touch, he says, spin dashing like a madman. Boss already? No, I just felt like. Oh no, that felt like a, a boss stop. That was good. Hang on. <coughs> 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 Oh, I told you I had an itchy nose, didn't I? Oh, that's better. Cleared my head a little bit. <laughs> Aquis, you son of a... Attention. What's wrong with me tonight? I feel like I did this fine the other week. I'm just being an imbecile tonight. No! Okay, now we're the boss. Oh no, and I'm stuck. Damn you! Oh, heck. <sighs> I zigged when I should have zagged. Honestly amazed I didn't get shot by that aquist there. So I got cocky, I tried to go for too many hits on Robonic. And I paid the price for it. Sake. <sighs> oh, shouldn't have done that. That's going to be totally wasted. Brilliant. I was protected from all the enemies. Not there. 
See what I mean? I'm I'm dashing in like an idiot, just getting hit. Take it slow and steady. It's against Sonic's nature, I'm sure, but that was a long old stretch to have no star post. One, two, three, four. Leaving it there this time. Spike thing. Knew that was coming. Completely mistimed it, misjudged it. Oh, peep poop. Come on. One, two, three. Oh. Explosions ignite the oil everywhere, turning the zone into an inferno. Metropolis! And of course, as we know, Metropolis Zone is three acts long, which feels like a slog. But then, everything that comes after it is only one act long, so. Fair is fair. Oh, I did not react in time. Oh, no, no, that's good. Ah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, spike. Thinking ahead there. That was the problem. <laughs> oh, I'm not having a lot of luck here. You see what I mean? Oh, I absolutely think I hit him there. But. Evidently, I did not. Oh, look at that. I didn't really realize you could do that. <laughs> Just thought I'd give it a try and it worked out quite well. We talk about how weird the Japanese box size for these games. It's really exciting and cool looking. You know the, the fun little inspirational quotes. It's weird. Like the oh okay. I was gonna say the invincibility seems to be making it so the Asterons don't come after me, but that one blew up on its own there. So who knows? I do like Sonic 2's box art, it's very cool, very iconic. And of course, the, the one we've got on screen here, Robotnik in the background. <laughs> oh no. And then uh, they reused it for the, uh, the film poster, one of the alternative film posters anyway. Which was really neat. I like that. Good fan service. I feel like that was more by luck than judgement. <laughs> it's like the 90s puked on them. We should all be so lucky as to get 90s puke on us. Ah. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I can feel another sneeze coming on, you know? <laughs> this is what I get for saying I don't have hay fever, isn't it? Well, I thought that was safe. I thought wrong. Nothing is safe in the Metropolis Zone.
Oh, playing stupidly. Playing very dangerously. Why did I do that? What on earth possessed me? place would make OS HA's heads. <laughs> so anyway, I'm making a pretty sternly worded call to the health and safety executive when I get out of here. Playing very badly tonight. There's nothing in this game that I would say is unfair. I'm just playing like a complete dumbass. Thank you for following the channel, buddy. Oh, bit of fun. Chance Williams, two four six. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh god! Didn't think that through at all. <laughs> Don't know what that noise was either, I'm sorry. <laughs> the mantises are unfair. Uh, a little, yeah. I mean, I feel like you have to react very quickly to a lot of the bad nicks in this stage. On the other hand, though, it's... The, you know, this is the final full-length stage of the game. It's Robotnik's base of operations. I kind of... I guess thematically it's okay if it's challenging, hard, and what have you. Oh my god, whoa, good god. Ah! And then, of course, you do get ambushed like that. From time to time... There's just a whole lot going off in this stage. However, the Mantis has a very cool name on Slicer, which is amazing. And obviously sounds like Cypher, which is uh, another very cool Mantis that we all love. Yeah, Act 2 now. Sure, that uh, pair of big wheels with a platform attached to it's meant to be, but I quite like it. It's a fun little visual. Well, I think only appears the once. Deserve that. That's what I get for being cocky. Right, I'm going to use the speed, but not abuse the speed. There we go. That's how you do it. Ah. Run, 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 run! Ah. Oh, okay, great. I'm going to have to go a little further off screen now. Make that reset. Alright, that should be fine. Surely. There we go. Whee! Yeah! 
Ah! At least all the Asterons are gone. I'm going to waste to the top next time. Rings, thank God. That. Ah. Oh, look, we got another one of those. Is it? Double wheel, big platform thingies. Just looks cool. Just like, just looks like a cool machine part, you know. See, I don't know about you, but like, if ever I'm at like, you know, like a museum or a factory. So somewhere that does like a, a, a tour, you, you can see all the factory that makes all the the, the things. You know, so like I went to the uh, the Cadbury's um, factory where they make bars of chocolate. Like anytime you see like a machine, I'm like somebody with a much bigger brain than me had to figure out. Oh no! Somebody had to figure out what this machine was gonna do, how it was gonna do it, what precise design of the parts we're gonna like what was gonna push what where it was unfathomable to me you, you might as well be a space alien right this is the hello Charlie this is the bit if I remember right oh no it's not it's not I was gonna say it was the piston where in origins it launches you up into the spikes but it doesn't in the original I was gonna show as much, but now I'm probably just going to burn in this lava instead. Oh, get a spike up my bomb! Yeah, it blows my mind, honestly. Like, honestly, if if you are an engineer, then you may as well be a wizard to me. Oh, this is the bit! Right, see, in Origins, you get thrown into those spikes, you take a hit there. As you can see, that does not happen in the original. I'm glad I got shut off. I'm doing very well, thank you, Charlene. How are you? I've got the hoodie on, I think that's a mistake. I'm sweating quite a bit. <laughs> okay, now that one was unfair. I don't really see how you can avoid that. to his death, as you do. Good, I'm glad to hear it. We like it when our guests in the chat room are doing well. There's one thing though, once I'm out of Metropolis I get to go to Sky Chase, which is a lovely little breather level. Big fart. It's quite the lengthy uh, bolt. Going up, alright, fine. You get to fight chicken turrets. What more can anyone want? Chicken turrets sound like a, a new addition to the KFC menu, don't they? 
Alright, cool. My least favourite boss in the entire game. Oh no. Oh, screw this. Good and proper. No idea how to do this without taking a hit. No. Not a one. Be a case of take a hit and retreat. Oh, okay, that's one. Damn it. Ah! See, like my rings fell off the flipping stage there. Yeah, do you know I've never had a problem with this fight in Sky Sanctuary Zone. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to do it. The three lives now. And at this rate, that three is going to very quickly become two. See? So I'm sorry we're going to save scum this boss. I think the, one of the key differences between this and the Mecha Sonic version is that you can reel off quite a few hits at once against Mecha Sonic, you can only hit Robotnik once at a time here. Oh, for God's sake. Tails helping out like a good lad. Oh, hey, Tails got a second shot there. Nice work, pal. No. Absolutely not. Alright. That's the last full length zone in the game. It's a big big challenge out of the way. I'm however gonna pay a fair old bit of attention to this one because it doesn't take much for you to get blindsided by bad mix if you're not watching where you're going. Like that. Yes, really, it's my own fault, sorry. I, I hate I hate doing that. I hate catching myself doing that. Oh, really? Like it's the game's fault that I've played like a minute and yeah, a complete moron. Should have anticipated that. I do like that you can stand on the back of the turtloids. <laughs> Oh. Where are my rings going when they're shooting off the top of the screen? Why are they not coming back down? Blowing away in the wind. Every time that manages to catch me by surprise. Missing in Origins. It's only four in the last bit. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't 
buy this at all. Uh! Knew I should have saved it there. Not having that. Or that. Really, Sonic. I don't know what possessed them to make that hanging bar function as it does but it really messes up Sonic's jump, and like if you jump off, you can't like catch back onto the bar, which is what you need to do if you land in the wrong position. That's something that Origins does fix, and that is a good fix. Whoa. <gasps> oh no. No, I'm just I'm just gonna take the hit. I'm just gonna take the hit. Which in fairness I could have done from the beginning, but it's not really playing the level properly, is it? Hey, Nana, how are you doing? Good to see you in here. Wow, let's pretend that didn't happen. That bit a moment ago, guys, where I said I was going to take the hit, uh, if you land on the left side of those blades, you pretty well expected to redo the entire section again, but no, uh, no, no, no thank you, not going to happen. Damn it. I'm good, how are you doing? Glad to cut your stream to you. I'm glad you cut it too, it's lovely to have you here. I'm doing pretty alright today, it's got to be sad. Had a rather decent sort of day. Steady! <sighs> Save state before that. I 
in a, I don't know why I'm in a, a heightened state of terror at the minute. So jumpy. Sometimes video games do get you like that, don't they? And again, I apologise for safe states coming, guys, but you know what? Needs must. Oh, I should have got the rings and then gone into the special stage, never mind. Not trusting that launcher. Uh, I am having to trust that launcher. Ah. Ah. Oh, here we are, look. Talked about this when I played through uh, Sonic Origins. This belt's not programmed properly. Which was one of the things that people... The kind of things... Uh, like a suggestion, they didn't actually finish this zone in time before release. Chicken turrets are kicking my ass. Yeah, but like, but I don't usually struggle as badly with those that section. I'm, I'm having a off day tonight. I've been really blowing it. Are those the chickens from the cartoon? Um, that is Cluck, that bad Nick, I believe. Or it's either Cluck or Clucker. Um... Luck is Robotnik's pet in uh, Satyam. Scratch from Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog is, lo is loosely based on it as well, so yeah, it kind of, kind of influenced a couple of different cartoon characters. Oh, shouldn't have done that, should have kept the rings. That was so stupid, I can't possibly get the good ending now anyway. Oh, I'm so dumb. I have to do this boss with no rings now. Unless there's any in that little corridor when you drop down, but I don't think there is. You see what I mean about having an off day? Not engaging the old brain. The other one shows in the Aquatic Ruin. Yeah! Grounder! Voiced by Sonic legend Gary Chalk, who of course was the voice of Robotnik in Sonic Underground, and then has a role in the first Sonic film! Good for him. Obviously, uh, likes the little blue boy, and don't we all? Tails, come on man. We can do this. We can't do this. Doesn't matter. Like I say, ooh! Oh! Oh! What's happening there? That's not meant to look like that! <laughs> oh, I got rings there. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right. This boss is very hard, so... the safe state. Because I'm a little chicken baby. What are you laughing at? I hate this quite a lot, and I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Oh god, it's gone wrong already. Oh no. I'm really, really dreadful. 
Oh, fart on toast. Oh, come on, man. Uh, thank you for the good luck wishes. I'm going to need it. Smash my face off. Two. Three. Ring. Damn it. Four. This is pretty much just confirming for me that this boss does not function the same in Origins and is made not only more difficult but unfair. Like you have to take hits off it. Oh my good god, I'm going to get impaled. No! 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 Ah! This is so flipping hard. Damn it! Uh, where they change, like, I don't quite know how to explain it, but like, the widescreen messes with it. Um, like this little arena that Sonic's in now. Damn it. <sighs> Pants. It's kind of widened out to compensate for the widescreen. Um, see there. So the laser doesn't sort of behave properly, it's still moving the same distance each time, rather than moving like a longer or shorter distance to accom uh, like, accommodate for the different screen resolution. So on some cycles of it shooting, you have to take a hit, you cannot possibly avoid it. And frankly, this boss is hard enough. As you can see, without being downright impossible. Oh, bugger my foot. There's so much going on. Really shouldn't have risked that second hit. Reckless playing it was. One more. One more! Yes! There are, yeah, there are, there are a lot... Thank you very much. There are a lot of things that are changed in Origins for, like, no discernible reason. Like, just sheerly being in widescreen messes with, like, the game's logic. It doesn't know how to handle a lot of the situations. Weird. And it would have been caught with the tiniest little smidge of a playtester. Oh man, right. Coming up on the final stage of the game, then we'll be able to jump into uh, the missions once we finish this. Once we finish this. Like, this isn't going to kick my ass. <laughs> Alrighty. It's Robo Sonic. It's Dead Sonic. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Your mother! Screw it. <laughs> we'll save state here, why not? Um, why did I do that?
this is pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. The fact you've got no rings for it. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? <sighs> right, no. Gonna do what I did the other week. I'm gonna be patient. Do it the long way. Excuse the fuck out of you. Robotics <laughs> Naruto run. <laughs> I love how he's like the buttons on his trousers and jiggling from back to back. Fuck, why did I do that? Yeah, I'm actually getting a little, a little irritated with this corridor now. There we go, we'll save that. One. Two. Let's not be impatient. Let's be very stupid. I shouldn't be risking it. Three. Why am I going through on that second hit? Fine. Fine. We'll just drag it out even more. Be a bitch then, Robonnet, you turdo. Nope, dumb. <sighs> it's pretty tricky, this one, not gonna lie. Great. God, he fucking did that. That's why it's been hitting me, because he's firing the arms. So stupid. One. Two. Three. Alright, okay, cool, cool, cool. Shouldn't have done that, why did I do it? One. Two. I'm getting cocky, stop getting cocky! I'm not getting off three hits on that. One. Two. I'm gonna behave now. Three. Oh! Hey, the rain. How's it going? Oh, why did I do that? Wasn't even looking. One. Two. We're not having a good time here, are we? One. Bloody hell! Ah, I think it needs 16 if I remember right. Guys, I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna scum it. Anyway, 
Dumb. Damn! <laughs> hey, Emerald Chaos, how's it going? Uh, they've been pretty good on the whole. I have been getting my ass kicked by a couple of bosses, this one included. I'm safe scumming the hell out of this now. We've seen pretty much everything this boss has to offer. And I don't want to bore you guys. Arms. Hey, don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I'm happy to see you whenever you're here. Happy to see anyone when they're here. Don't feel like you've got to make a, a special purpose journey to be in the stream. I've lost track of how many hits that is now. Whoops. <laughs> he does have another attack, but he's not doing it for some reason. He can, like, shoot little bombs. I'm kind of glad he's not doing it, because that would suck. what I did there. Press the wrong button. Yeah, we've got, uh, got the VODs still here on uh, on Twitch. Uh, if you head to YouTube, youtube.com forward slash buzzbomber. That's where the archives of everything's going as well. Uh, the game book stuff was fun. Nana was. Uh... Hey, there we go. A force to be reckoned with, and so am I. Mwah. Game done. I scummed the hell out of that. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think it's my fault, Nana. I didn't. Um... I probably should have done like a, a check on Discord to see how it was going to sound. I'll, I'll see if I can. Tweak it a little. Thank you very much, uh, everyone. <sighs> Still got a bit more to come after uh, after the credits roll. Don't worry, we've got a bit more gameplay here tonight. Spinny boy. And that's Sonic 2 on the Mega Drive. I like how this says cast of characters. That's not what this is, this is the credits. I know, this is really sweet, isn't it? If you get all the emeralds, he jumps off as uh, Super Sonic. But I quite like. I like that pose that he does at the end there. That's a nice Sonic y pose. Recent events have shown there to be some characters on this development team. Haven't there, just? I was saying to uh, my friend Lewis, who's one of the guys behind Sega Driven, <laughs> Sonic's dads are fighting again. <laughs> Really petty, childish behaviour from. Um, oh gosh, what's his name? Yuji Naka. Poor, poor old Naoto Oshima. Grown man. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna dance. I'm allowed to dance, damn it. It's my stream.
Yeah, I've got the old multiplayer stuff. Um, when we do Sonic 3, I might quickly show off the multiplayer stuff. Uh, the two-player mode in Sonic 2 is just a selection of levels. Um, with, with different music. But it's, it's the, the levels from the main game. Oh, and a special stage. So you've got kind of a, a, it's a race mode, basically. But it doesn't really work all that well without a second player, whereas like, I can at least do like the time attack stuff on the Sonic 3 two-player mode. It's a very weird logo here. <laughs> it's so strange. Sonic 3 multiplayer level, it's amazing music. But then again, the whole soundtrack's amazing. And there we go, guys. That is that. That's Sonic 2. We've got a little bit more coming tonight, though, so don't go away just yet. Alrighty, let's have a looky here. We need to load this up. You have to look at my face while I'm uh, loading things up. Aren't you the lucky ones? What more could you possibly want? Whoa. Okay, right. We good to go. Where did the poster go? Oh yeah, I I switched it out just for you know I'm, I'm just I'm changing things. I'm changing the scenery around a little bit because um, I I said at the start of the stream, Sonic Two is the first game to have Super Sonic in. So I switched the uh, Buddies and Baddies poster by Carl Flint for this lovely gift from Ferran Rodriguez that he gave um, some time ago. I'm not getting into the details of why he gave the gift because that's not. For what? That, that's not something we want to be talking about on the stream. I can tell you later in private chat, Nana, but yeah. It's. Love it. Good old Farron. Lovely bloody man. Um, so yeah, we've got Super Sonic running through a pair of rings. Oh, no, it's not shady at all. It's just like, I don't want to be. I don't want to be talking about it on stream because it's. unfortunate. But, like, it's nothing to do with Farron. He, he, it's all good. Um. You know, it's fine. Did he ever do Super Sonic and STC? Uh, yes, in Hilltop Terror. Uh, which was one that Nigel Kitching wrote. Alright guys, shall we play a bit of uh, Sonic Origins? Is that showing up? It sure isn't. Oh, it is. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Marvellous. Love Farron. Lovely, lovely, lovely man. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain why later, Nana. <laughs> uh, how's that? Is that quiet? Oh, no, no, the volume's fine. So it's because I've got my TV turned down quite low. Um, but yeah. Yeah, this is it's pretty cute. The, the menus are really nice. Like, let's have a look here. Oh, there we go. Wrong button. So this is this is Flicky's Island. This is from Sonic 3D. It's not actually part of this collection, so that's weird. Uh, this is South Island from Sonic 1. This is uh, Never Lake. Which is seen at the intro of Sonic CD. And we can switch this one around as well because there's the Miracle Planet. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave that there actually. And then Sonic Two. This is West Side Island. Oh, the coconuts on the tree there. It's been a monkey. Hey, no throwing. It's naughty. Oh no! Hopefully that comes back soon, Homer. That sucks. And of course this is The Floating Island from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the greatest game of all time. Is Knuckles 
temples here on the island? Surely somewhere. Oh, and by the way, up here is the Sky Sanctuary Zone. How cool is that? This is another one you can switch around. You can have it grounded, like so. Oh, we got Egg Robo there as well, though. Hey, what did that change? Oh, we put the Death Egg on top of the mountain. Brilliant. On top of the, the Lava Reef Zone. Marvellous. And this is the Vego Fortress from Sonic Spinball. Which is also not in this collection. Odd. Right, so anyway, today... We are going to... Where are we? Is it in the museum? Oh no, where's the mission mode? Oh, here it is. Stupid me. Mission mode is in Sonic Origins. And we're gonna today we're gonna try and clear the Sonic One missions. Knuckles doesn't have a model from Generations. He's probably not there. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, classic, classic robotic, great design. Oh, the Vego Fortress. Yeah, it is pretty scary. It's a freaky little place. Scrap Rain Zone Act Two. Defeat five Caterpillars and reach the goal. Sounds easy. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. That was indeed easy. I'm going to S rank for that somehow. Unbelievable. Do I want to retry? No, obviously not. That was fine. <laughs> Why would I want to retry when I passed and got the highest rank? Twinkle Toes, Spring Yard Zone Act 3. Oh, that first one was Caterpillar Swarm, in case you didn't speak. Reach the goal while the floor constantly shifts. Don't like the sound of that. This isn't too tricky at all, so far. Not so sure on these big, dull-looking grey blocks. Kind of boring. <gasps> That's what I get for criticising the game. Yeah, hopefully... I mean, that, uh, that was like a one-star difficulty one, so obviously they're... Most of them are going to be a little bit more challenging than that, I would hope. Uh, yeah, Homer, this is this is one of the extra features in the game. It, you know, I, I, I like this. Like, yeah, it's cool. It's a neat idea. Because in fairness, you know, I, I own these games already, so anything that's going to give an extra little bit of replayability, I like. I'm in favour of that. <gasps> You cheeky so-and-so. Oh, I've got the spin dash as well. I could have completely avoided that. Never mind. Lessons learned, eh? Well, it's probably better if I... Oh, no, that rank is slipping. There we go. See, if I hadn't dropped off there, I could have got an S. Never mind, doesn't matter. Not worrying about getting S-Ranks tonight, I, I'll, I'll probably off-screen that. Ring Rush, Marble Zone Act 1, reach the goal with at least 100 rings while invincible. That sounds hard. Cocky. That's absolutely not going to be good enough now, is it? Did 
Damn it. <laughs> The Grey Blocks classic Sonic Forces level design. I, in fairness, only from, like, the EX stages. Which I don't mind. I like the EX stages, they're a nice, fun little challenge. They're not very visually exciting, I'll certainly grant you, but... It is what it is. See, I wasn't thinking carefully there. I should have done that and then gone back for the others. I, mean, I don't need to, obviously I can uh, hopefully get to the end from here with a hundred rings, because there's a load there. Now I've said that, it's going to turn out I need all of these, isn't it? Ah, fine. Sweet! Okay, carefully, carefully, carefully. Oh gosh, there's so much going off. Hey, there we go, A rank. Whew. Own Forces of Humble. I really like Forces of Humble. Forces is very divisive. It's a Marmite game. That's a wasted reference. You're American, obviously. Marmite is a product we have in Britain, and it's clinically proven you either love it or you hate it, and Forces is much like that. Yeah, the character creator is great. Like, hats off to Sega for realizing, oh, you know what would be really cool? Letting little kids make their own characters and have them be friends with Sonic. What a brilliant bloody idea. And they got it so right the first time as well. Well, I, I love games with character creation and stuff, because obviously, you know, I'm a big wrestling fan, it's a necessary part of a wrestling game. And, you know, for a first go round, it was bloody good. <clears throat> ring challenge 50, Labyrinth Zone Act 1. Gather 50 rings within 3 minutes. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Okay, seem to be a lot of bubbles. We like bubbles, they're good. Sweet, that was super easy. Anything that makes the Labyrinth Zone easy is fine by me. No, I don't want to retry. Are you crazy? It's like cilantro and coriander. You either love it or think the game tastes like soap. Nice. Uh, am I going to play Focuses this month? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm focusing on like the original... Um, Classic Sonic era, so everything pre Sonic Adventure. Because uh, I worked out there are 31 classic Sonic games and there's 31 days in July, so perfect. And in fairness, like everything from Adventure onwards would probably take way longer than a day to, uh, to finish each one of them. I mean, think about Sonic Advance, I could probably do in a day. But Sonic Adventure itself, like that game's huge. It's very good. I love it. Sonic Spin Dash Attack. Starlight Zone Act 1. Defeat at least 10 enemies with Spin Dash. And reach the goal. Okay. How do you want me to spin dash from there? There's a block. Surely it's not... Oh, it, it's absolutely counting me just rolling into them. Okay. That doesn't seem right somehow, but okay, whatever. Well, well. B. You give it the whole month trying to do the big missions. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about the blocks. Kind of ugly. Like, could they not have just used the sprites from the levels that were already already existed? I, do you know, I strangely had a lot of luck playing as Big the Cat. I don't know why or how. 
Generations would be cool, but it wouldn't be quick. Yeah, I, I played through Generations um, for Sonic's 30th anniversary last year. did it on uh, uh, New Legacy Inc.'s channel. No, it was, I did play Forces for the anniversary. I played Generations a little bit before then, that's what it was. Aerial Attack. Spring Yard Zone Act 2. Defeat 15 enemies in mid-air. Oh, it's Knuckles. Okay, sweet. He's a good boy. Ah! Shoot! Bam, 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 boo! This one's a little trickier. Ah. Damn it. Two more. Nice. That was pretty fun. Never get over this voice actress, Duke Nuke. Oh, big, yeah. He's been a bit of a bugger lately as well, hasn't he? Mercy. Scrap Brain Zone Act 1. Reach the goal without touching any enemies. can't put that kind of Orbinaut in Scrap Brains on, how dare you! It's nice to see it without the <laughs> underwater colour palette, actually. Oh, they're not going to make this easy for me, are they? Slow and steady wins the race. Ow! Actually, Orbinaut's not in Scrap Brains on at all, is it? It's in uh, Starlight Zone. I have to wait for them to go overhead. Oh, itchy ears as well now. <laughs> Maybe I do have hay fever. <laughs> I'm just falling apart at the seams. Uh, neutron Swarm. Green Hill Zone Act 2. Defeat 10 Neutrons and reach the goal. That's one. Alright, cool, you're just not bothering coming back then, sweet. Ah! Failure! Oh, damn it. Yeah, they're in Labyrinth. It's um, the ones that throw the spikes at you are in Labyrinth. The ones that don't are in Scrap Bra uh, Starlight. In Japan, they've got two different names, the uh, the two different models of new, uh, Orbin Orts. This one's tricky. Much like, of course, there are two models of Neutron. But they don't have different names. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Nice! I'll take that. Mamma mia.
Zero ring challenge. Spring yards on Act 3, dodge Buzz Bomber's attacks and reach the goal with zero rings. This is gonna be hard. Knew that was going to be there. <laughs> Whoa, toilet. Wait, hang on. Oh, I should have gone that way. Oh, no. Okay, they put a crab meat there that would have absolutely killed me. Fair enough. Slow and steady wins the race. The same age, we have the same level of useless knowledge of these games. Oh. A kindred spirit. Did they ever make something where you can build your own levels? I wish. I'd buy that in a flash. Someone's making that as like a, a fan game. But it, I don't think it's very far along in development. Like he's been working on it for a good old while, which you know, I, you know, make a stable build before you release it. Obviously, I'd love that. I mean, after Mario Maker, why did we not get a maker of everything? Seriously, a swinging good time. Green Hills are like three. Use the swinging platforms to dodge enemies and reach the goal in this mirrored stage. Ooh, mirror mode. <clears throat> Oops, should have gone up there, never mind. Oh, toilet, 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 toilet. No real punishment for that, though. This is not dodging enemies, this is putting me directly in the path of enemies. Ah, Thorny Challenge, Marble Garden Zone, Marble Garden? No, that's Sun 3. Marble Zone, Act 3, avoid getting squashed and skewered to reach the goal. I mean, there are, obviously, of course, you know, if, if you wanted to make, oh no, well, I deserve that for being stupid. I'm spin dashing in these because the mission mode was not in the original and it's on a timer anyway, so I'm using the tools at my disposal. So there, it's different this time around is what I'm saying. <laughs> um... You know, you know, if you wanted to make your own Sonic game, there's there's options for like you could make a ROM hack or you could make a fan game in various engines. So there's plenty of ways to do it, but there is no, no, oh, that was very bad. There's no official Sega game that lets you make Sonic games, and that's. I assume that you know, I figure that's what you were getting at, really. They should though. They really should. Marble Garden's a whole other game. <laughs> Duck and Dive, Marble Zone Act 1. Reach the goal while dodging falling hazards. Four star. Oh, Tails. Oh my goodness gracious me. Ah. Damn it. Again, no penalty for this. <laughs> it's not causing me to fail the mission. This is going to be one of those games where... Ah. Damn it. 
it's going to be like rewarding to figure out the best path through to get an S rank. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, a friend of mine on Twitter the other day put a, a video on of them playing one of the Sonic 3 missions and it looks insanely hard and they only they only did it by like a fraction of a second but I imagine that probably felt really cool to pull that off. So that's kind of what they're going for here I guess, you know, it's, it, it's, you know, it's ranking them on a difficulty but they're all relatively easy but getting the S rank is going to be the real challenge. Replay value, we do like a bit of that in our Sonic games don't we? No bubble driving today, oh Jesus God. If Stu hadn't been in chat and pointed out that the 360 controller doesn't like the Master System D-pad, I would have honestly given up. Something I think I'd quite like to play on stream while we're on the subject of like Sonic fan games and things that like make, let you make your own levels, I'd like to give Sonic World a go. Um, I don't think my laptop would have been strong enough to stream that, but now I've got a proper gaming computer, I really want to give that a go. It looks like a good little bit of fun. I, you know, from what little I've played, it's fun. You can mod it and put other characters in. That's cool as heck. Eggman, fancy footwork. Starlight Sonic 3, use the sea source to defeat Dr. Eggman and reach the goal. Who's Eggman? Never heard of him. I think you mean Robotnik. Fun challenges people with decades of experience with the franchise. Yeah. Oh no. Starlight Zone boss with no floor. Oh my gosh. This is sadistic. Huh. Ah! Oh, I don't dare risk anything. <laughs> I'm going to have a very low rank on this one. Ashley Ryan, hello! Welcome to the chat! Oh, this is crazy! This is hard. <laughs> and this is a four star mission, so what awaits in the five stars? That's what I want to know. Do, 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 do. He's kind of a jerk. He's not invited to parties. Ah. Damn it! Speaking of Sonic World, there's another Sonic World that was part of the classic Sonic games. Oh, Sonic Jam! Yes! J now, I forgot about Sonic Jam um, when I was talking previously about uh, compilations and stuff, and obviously that is uh, one of the first ones. That's the second one after, you know, you like two in one and three in one cartridges on the Mega Drive. That's the first proper full on compilation though. Um I might do Sonic Jam um kind of as a like a, a, a bonus thing on the last day that we do this actually. Because the Sonic World thing has its own little missions, doesn't it? Obviously we're not gonna be, you know, re replaying all the games in the compilation, that'll be a little bit redundant. But might be fun to try the old missions in Sonic World and Sonic Jam. That'd be cool. I'll see. Uh... Yes. See if I can get a, a Saturn emulator working with any kind of like regularity.
because I'll be honest, when when we get to play Sonic R, that's probably going to be um, the GameCube version if I can get that to run. Uh, I'll have to set up Dolphin, obviously, because um, that is technically the best version of the game. I th I. I kind of want to bend the rule just the once on that because I have been playing them on like the original console but most people would probably agree like that is the superior version because of the things they've added in but then again like if it doesn't affect the main the main game maybe I'll stick to a certain run I don't know I'll figure something out it's going to be on the last day of the month anyway I've got plenty of time to think about it for five star, you must play through Scrap Brain while saying something positive about Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Um, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric preceded a very funny cartoon that I like a lot. Love Riddick and You Feel the Sunshine. I can say something positive about Rise of Lyric pretty easily. It has expressive character animation in the cutscenes. The only positive thing I have to say about it. Zero Ring Challenge Part 2, Green Hill Zone Act 1, dodge everyone's attacks to reach the goal with zero rings. Okay, five star, this is gonna be hard as nails. Oh no. Didn't remotely mean to do that, but I defended myself well. <gasps> Not so much. I disagree. Shame! Rise rounds with pies, which are delicious. Yeah? How you doing, Shame? Good to see you. I'm being put through my paces by everyone's favourite Sonic compilation, Sonic Origins. Motherfucker, what is wrong with me? Sorry. <laughs> Getting cross with myself now. For being stupid. Impatient. I was telling the telling the, the people earlier Shay, about your uh, your video that you put up the other day and uh, talking about, you know, taking a, a light touch approach. And how I really should have been doing that for a little bit more of tonight's event. Crab me, buddy, stop. Just no, man. <gasps> Feel like I couldn't really have reacted to that without seeing it, but never mind. Uh, I'm good, thank you. Sonic Origins sounds like sorry, oranges, which are delicious. Mm. No one said anything bad to say about this compilation. Mm. I disagree. I just so as my stance on Origins is clear, like things like the mission mode great. Museum's okay, it's not as good as I think it should be, but it's fine. Um, the like the sound stuff in the museum is great. I need to be going to the left there. Um, like the videos are underwhelming, the pictures are quite underwhelming as well. But you know, the music stuff, cool, no problems there. As a collection of games, good should have been fantastic. Like, it amazes me that even now we simply do not have a definitive fuck you compilation of classic Sonic games. This should be the easiest thing in the universe. Yeah, this really does feel five stars. That was me. 15 seconds. Fucking how? That's <laughs> what I want to know. Fuck. Not by doing that. Like, if it, I, I feel like I could write a laundry list of what would go into the definitive classic Sonic compilation. And I don't think any of those things would be unreasonable. You know, I'm not asking for the Earth. And again, things like the mission mode, very cool. And I think that kind of makes this a worthwhile fuck. A worthwhile fuck. 
this is a worthwhile collection but like Shay's just said it should have been really easily done there's so many problems and issues with it and like I, to me it's it it's a death by a thousand cuts nothing that's erroneous in these versions of the game is terrible on its own but you put them all together and suddenly And suddenly you've got a, a complete package that's not so hot. And I, like, I'm going to be honest, all the stuff that they changed for the anniversary mode, whatever, fine, cool, not a problem. As long as you keep the originals in untouched, and they haven't done that. No, that was stupid. Why did I do that? Literally, all they had to do was just drop a selection of ROMs into a folder, as well as putting the anniversary stuff in. And you know what? Fine. That I could have lived with that. Fuck. Well, that's the thing, Emerald Chaos. Like they did give it to Head Cannon. They got, you know, they got them in to do Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which is the one you really want to get right, let's be honest. Fuck all of you. <laughs> um, and then, like, they had kind of passed their stuff on to Sega, and Sega just took a big toilet on it. I don't know what Sonic Team did to it, they absolutely messed it up. A rank, yeah, that wasn't too bad actually after all that hard work. What Origins lacks is Waku Waku Sonic Patrol Car. <laughs> See, this is the thing, like, if I was going to do a definitive collection of classic Sonic, I would put things like that in. Like, to me, it's baffling that, and I said this the other week, it's absolutely astonishing to me. Like, we've got in the menus we've seen things of Sonic 3D and Sonic Spinball. They're not on this collection. What the fuck is that about? I'm not even asking for them to be widescreen. Like, I don't care that much about Sonic 3D in widescreen or Sonic Spinball in widescreen. Why would you not put them in the game? It doesn't make sense. I can't wrap my head around that decision. And then... But then, like, yes, throw some, throw some obscure stuff in there. Throw the, the kiddie rides in. Throw the popcorn shop in, which we will be covering, by the way. Um, Chaotix. Never been re-released. And I know, I know it's not a very good game. I know people know that it's, it's a widely known as not a very good game. I get that. But my options shouldn't be pay for a 32x about 200 quid realistically and get a CRT tally and a Mega Drive or pirate it those shouldn't be the only two options you know yeah it kind of sucks okay like I'm sorry Sega but a lot of these games do sort of suck most of them are great you've got to show a little love to the crappy ones but it's like I hate to say it but why have they not re-released things like Sonic Unleashed and Sonic 06. Like, Sonic Unleashed is pretty well liked. 06 is stuck on like Xbox 360 and PS3, and I know it's bad. I know it's bad. I get that. You don't have to tell me. I'm well aware that that's a bad old game. Why would you not put it on Steam for like a fiver? We're Sonic fans. We'll pay a fiver for Sonic 06. Just to say we have it. Just to play around with it. Just to mod it. Total slam dunk, like Shay said. Yeah, no, no chaotic re-release ever. It's mad to me. Sega Sonic, that should be on here as well. I think, like Mighty and Ray being in Mania. Absolute bonus SD's collection like this. They each need to be the best showing, especially for the price. Totally agreed. For what this is, I think this might be a little bit on the expensive side. 
again, I like the missions mode, I like the mirror mode, I like the boss rush, we'll be covering all those on later streams, don't worry. That's cool, but this was a pretty pricey game and for them to drop the ball, you know? Unleashed has a lot of good in it, yes I agree. Understood Ando 6 and Unleashed at least because they need to be ported instead of loading a ROM to the Steam store. That's true, so you know, that's work, I appreciate that, that's a fair point. But it just feels like... I don't know, it... Yeah, having the Vega Fortress on Flicky's Island is unbelievably cruel, honestly. I, I never expect, like I said, I never expected them to be in widescreen in this compilation, but why would you not just put them in? Mean Bean Machine, why would you not just put it in? It's there. It's not hurting anything. Just put it in the game, you know? Baffling bloody decision. I don't know. Like, I, I just feel like that Sonic's got this massive, enormous back catalogue and Sega don't do anything with it, you know? Like, the Game Gear games that we've been playing and the Master System games, the last time you could play those were in Sonic Adventure DX on the GameCube. I don't know whether they're in the DX version on Steam. I don't think they are. And it's like, okay, number one, that was several console generations ago. Number two, they didn't make any extra money off of that. Sonic Master System Collection is a £20 release. And they gave it all away for free. Now, I'm not complaining that they gave it away for free, but how do you set a fire to money so easily as that, you know? Not re-releasing mid-games for fear of cheapening the brand. Yeah, alright though. <laughs> Just bring it out. Like I say, we're Sonic fans. We'll pay for any of it. We're idiots. We're stupid people. <laughs> Ah, okay. Oh, we've got a big scab on the screen at the top there. <laughs> the One Ring. Labyrinth Zone Act 2. Reach the goal without losing a single ring. This is going to be hell on Earth. I hate Labyrinth Zone, as you all know. I'm going to have no choice but to go slow. Oh, that's cruel. Oh, the music didn't restart. I like that. Fuck. I'm curious. If I get to the end and I've still got the ring... Technically, does it count? I don't know. I mean, I get, it's a moot point because I couldn't possibly get it back from that angle, but... <laughs> oh, no. Damn it. Slain Bayonets, thank you very much for the raid. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I, I think I... I'd be lying if I said this was a bad collection. Oh, toilet bomb. Okay, so we can drop the ring as long as we pick it up before it fades out. That's... Oh my goodness. I... Like, I... There's nothing about this that's making me go, Oh, they, you know, this is unbelievably bad. How could they do this? It's so poor. Like, they're all playable. But like, it's a, it's a death by a thousand cuts. There's so many things that are just not quite right. Cruelest rates. Yeah, you really confused me for a second. <laughs> oh my god. I need to change the rates now, actually. I've got a robotic sprite on there. They uh, they added a, a few robotic voices to Uberduck, so... Oh, come on. How... What am I doing here, guys? What am I doing wrong? Nope, that sure wasn't it. Okay, cool. Oh, that's not cool. Who and we? Yeah, 
Yeah, you just do your thing there, buddy. That's fine. Something horrible is going to happen, I just know it. Oh, thank God. <sighs> Give Insta Shield, please. Oh, that would have made that a lot easier. Oh, Labyrinth Zone. I don't love you any more for that than I did before, I can tell you that. Project 06 is a really interesting thing. It's like... Somebody basically went, well, if Sega aren't going to do it, we'll do it. And I, I like that about the Sonic fandom. And I'm not doing that to... Like you say, it's the whole, you know, oh, Nintendo hire this guy thing, you know, that meme. But I... Something I love about Sonic fans is if they see a gap, like if the comics aren't going to do something, if Sega aren't going to put something in a game, and they go, oh, I really want that, they'll make it themselves. Which is amazing. Just fantastic bloody people. Okay. Oh, extreme difficulty. This is going to suck. Surprise Robotnik wasn't waiting at the end just to kick you, yeah. <laughs> like he's just stood there with a massive laser beam. Extreme! Sonic Spin Dash Attack. Green Hill Zone Attack. Uh, attack? Green Hill Zone Act 3. Defeat at least 15 enemies with Spin Dash and reach the goal. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Whoa! So I think we've pretty well ascertained that as long as I'm rolling, I don't technically have to be spin dashing for this to count. That's not how you do it. That's not how you do it either. Ooh, that was nice. I feel like at least a couple of those should not in any way have counted. Whoa. the transparency like for, like the fade out and stuff you mean I'm not so sure on that one either why am I so bad Sonic 06 fandom oh uh, with um, Dr. Eggman's infamous announcement I think I've blown this one. Fail screen with the finished music, yeah. Mission failed successfully. Motherfucker, that absolutely was 15. Damn it. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, the. Uh... Sorry, I'm getting getting my hilarious fan dubs mixed up. <laughs> I do like the snap cube dubs. Damn it. <laughs> Who and we and fart and bomb? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. I love that. I like the one from. Oh, bugs. Uh, the Sonic Riders one where it's like. <laughs> Top 10 ways I'm sorry, number 7 we may surprise you. <laughs> Top 10 anime deaths, your ass right fucking now! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, I got an S as well! Oh my god, the beta coke line is so funny. I hate that kind of terminology in real life, but that's genuinely a funny fucking line. Extreme aerial attack. Defeat 20 enemies in mid-air. Marvel Zone like 3. Uh, this is gonna be a... Oh no, it's one of these. Ah. <gasps> no! Ah, stop! No! What was the other line about about Fortnite? I, I I come here because I keep getting tilted from all the towers. <laughs> or like whatever the line is. Oh, that absolutely didn't count. Why did I fucking do it like that? Like a complete imbecile. Damn it. Caterkiller is a real interesting choice for an enemy you gotta hit in mid-air. Oh gosh. Okay, the bat bots do not respawn. I nearly call them Zubat. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. Hey, Caterkiller, good bad neck or best bad neck? Oh no, why did I do that? Okay, they do respawn there. Alright. Why can I not jump when it does that? That's so weird. Oh, I shouldn't have risked that. Paid off, but very risky. Penis! Damn it. 
I don't know who decided, by the way, that when you're climbing down the brick walls onto the grey blocks, that you should lose your glide. But honestly, I, uh, I hope you have a fucking rotten day, whoever's responsible for that. Toilet. This is hard. But it's a good challenge. Ooh, that was a cool little trick shot. Proud of myself there. One more, let's do this. That was hard, but it was fun. Extreme Duck and Dive. Reach the goal while dodging falling hazards. <laughs> That's a good bit as well. This is going to be hard, I can just tell. Damn it! Whoa! I forgot that's how those platforms worked. We've so nearly done them all. <laughs> Just got this last one to do. Idea, wrong execution. Come on. This is hard. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine, we're going to be okay. Burrabops jumps on the tails, gets bashed, wait for the bomb to explode. Yes.
It's not like those ridiculous difficulty Mario ROM hacks. Got the S rank here, we're standing on the spike right of the first bomb. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, we have varmint. That was a good tip, thank you for that. Holy moly! Oh my goodness, Ashley Ryan, MVP, thank you very much for that. Oh, we did it. We did it, Reddit. Ah, oh, look at all these coins we've got. I've got 230 coins, where did they come from? Well, that'll let us buy a few bits. New content available in the museum. All right, let's have a look. Should have got us a few of the illustrations there. View a premium collection item in the museum. Oh, like that, for instance. Defeat 10 motor bugs in Sonic 1, surely I did that. 10 Rhino bugs in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Try the bus rush, we'll get onto that. Clear 10 uh, okay. Play mirror mode, yeah, we'll get onto that too. Unlock like 30 art collection items with coins. Okay. Oh, I do love, I do love that style of art, yeah. For the classic Sonic look. All right, let's just buy a bunch of pictures. Actually, what's more expensive? Do they cost the same or more? Oh, they cost the same. The sounds are surely gonna be the same as well. Yeah, they're all five. Okay, cool. Actually, to be fair, there's a fairly decent number of pictures in here. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Look at that. British Sonic fans. I mean, flashbacks now, aren't we? Oh, that one's familiar as well, that number two there. I believe I've got a big poster of that. Oh, wait, no, I've got, there's, I've got a similar one. A poster of that, though. <laughs> Oh, here we are, look! That's the cover to Metal City Mayhem. That we read the other day. That's the cover to Zone Rangers, which we'll be playing soon. Wacky Worlds! So there's, a, there's another obscure Sonic title. Actually, technically, is that a Sonic title? I don't know if it is. I think that's kind of like Art Alive, where Sonic is in it, but it's not technically a Sonic game. Tails Sky Patrol, another game that you can't play in here. Alright, well, that's all we can afford tonight. Blowing a load of cash there.
museum now at 51% though. Alrighty, wow. That's going to do it for Sonic Origins for tonight as well. We'll uh, keep on chugging on through it. But that, ladies and gents, is Sonic Month Day 6 in the bag. Uh, let's have a look what's coming up in the next few days, shall we? Tomorrow, we've got Sonic CD, and we'll be having a look at one of the, uh, one of the other Sonic novels as well. The day after that, on Friday, we have Sonic Chaos, and we'll try the mission mode for Sonic 2. And on Saturday, we've got Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, I do have something a little special planned for, uh, for Saturday. I might try and get a host in for that, like a, a, a guest co-host. If not, what I've got planned will work with the chat as well, so that's okay. Um, but I think it would probably be funny if there's a second voice in the call for that. We're going to have a, we're gonna have a little tournament. We're going to have a Sonic Music Tournament. And what do I mean by that? Well, you'll see on Saturday, won't you? Um, and then Sunday, we have Sonic Spinball, the 16-bit version. And we'll be having a look at Zone Rangers, if I can get a co-host in for that. I've kind of come to the conclusion, if I can't get a co-host in for the game books, we're probably not going to be able to do them, because they're going to take ages otherwise. Um, you kind of need someone in to make... The snappy decisions like if I put that to the chat much as it would be fun to play with the chat it would mean that making a choice would take forever um, so obviously that's not ideal when you're trying to play a game book but hopefully fingers crossed we'll get someone in for those if not I will figure something else out I'm sure uh, until then guys uh, you can of course follow me on Twitter at LT Dangerous you can head over to YouTube youtube.com forward slash buzz bomber much like the Sonic Badnik which we uh, had a little difficulty with earlier uh, B-U-Z-Z-B-O-M-B-E-R buzz bomber and that's where all the archives for these streams are going to be held um, I'm going to upload yesterday's overnight I think so that should be ready by morning hopefully I'll have this one downloaded and ready to go tomorrow uh, we'll kind of see how it goes, I guess. We'll just play it by ear over the next couple of days. So thank you ever so much for joining us. It's been lovely talking to you all, as ever. And I look forward to seeing you once again tomorrow. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And we'll play a bit of Sonic CD. And I'm going to try and uh, get the original version of Sonic CD running. I know, I know Mega CD games are a little bit temperamental for emulation, but we'll try, just for the sake of uh, making it look absolutely spot-on correct on stream. So thanks once again, guys. Love you all so much. Lovely seeing you here again, and I'll catch you tomorrow for day seven of Sonic Month. Love you. Mwah.